seeing a Guy Ritchie movie, like an actual, uh, going back to his old style, you know, with Snatch and all that, I sat down with him at Aladdin, and he was kind of teasing this, so I was really excited to be able to see this. What's it like to film in the world of Guy Ritchie? You better be agile, meaning he's rewriting on the day. He's rewriting in the middle of the take. He's rewriting while we're shooting this scene, and um, <laughs> just when you're like, how dare you change the words? You hear what he says, and you go, I think that's better. Yeah. So you give it a go. You gotta have a lot of balls in, in the air and, and be adaptable. But it's great once you give into it. Yeah. You kind of let go of preparation and thinking that you've got to be on absolutely every word yeah. that's in the script. You just you go with it, and everybody was game for. Mm -hmm. in, in an odd way, you sort of have to. You do have to have the done the work before you get there because if not you'd be you'd be all over the place yeah. it still has to be from your character knowing what the hell it is you want mm -hmm. yeah and what you're trying to get through but the the the, the dialogue is definitely going to change yeah so you have to go oh, you got the sketch first. Yeah. yeah it's like preparing to yeah. be un unprepared in, in a really weird mm -hmm. way one of the aspects that I enjoyed about this film is the whole ego versus experience would you agree with that with yeah that with uh in sort of Dry Eye's case, he is trying to fill those boots as quickly as possible. And the only way that he thinks he can do that is to prove himself and to, to sort of muscle in on Michael's sort of ground as such and, and, and kind of try to take the shortcut. And uh, that isn't necessarily the best way in life. It's it's about putting in the hard work at the sort of the lower levels and learning from the mistakes. But sadly, he he makes some big mistakes and he'll pay for them. But it's just a hasty, mm -hmm. you know. Play plays your hand a little early, a little out in, out in the open, mm -hmm. you know. And if you do take you know chances like that to usurp the sort of status quo of how you get to the top. You better be uh, not more than able. You better be ready and to, to, to back it up because you don't know how big of a gun the guy across the table's got either, mm -hmm. or, uh, or what, ar what army they've got. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's only one rule in this jungle: when the lion's hungry, he eats. Good work, John.